Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments, and today I'm with the Model 450 IQ H2S Analyzer. This is the next generation H2S instrument from Thermal Scientific, um, following the Model 450i I series. So again, lots of improvements on this analyzer. Again, it's got the uh, centered touchscreen display. USB port at the bottom for data download, easily done. Do not need a laptop anymore. You can still use the laptop, but again, you can just use the uh, USB thumb drive to get your uh, H2S data off the front of this instrument. Coming around the side, there are plenty of changes to look at in this analyzer. There, again, they've centered the reaction cell assembly. Great improvement. It used to be uptight again to this panel. Centered it. The H2S converter is now this square can on the side of the instrument. It used to be the round uh, can on the back, the H2S converter module. Now has been brought up to the front of the analyzer and it has its own temperature control board down here. Looking back over to this side, we've got the SO2 scrubber. Similar to the previous uh, I-series scrubber, uh, but it used to be mounted up at the front of the instrument up here. So they put it on its own bracket back here on the left side of the instrument. Easy accessibility. Again, the interface board is gone as it was uh, previously in the I-series instrument. So they've done away with it and redesigned this board here for the control of the reaction cell assembly. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in my last video is the pressure and flow sensor are eliminated in this, uh, this IQ series and they've improved it with, you can see it glass capillary down here and what appears they're measuring the pressure across that capillary for the pressure and the flow off of this circuit board. So two sensors have been done away with and combined into this one module right here. Again the lamp socket is uh, on the front panel of the analyzer, front panel, front side of the analyzer with the lamp just inside this tube. Mirror assembly, PMT housing, PMT socket, the zero span solenoid option in, in this one, again with this heavy duty block. Um, last video, oh, I forgot to mention the pump is now a DC pump. Uh, they've done away with the KNF uh, AC powered pumps that used to sit right in the back center here. And so now we have a low noise uh, DC powered pump. Very easy to rebuild. Uh, this got this four screws you just have to take out to get out the diaphragm underneath. Very simple to service this pump. Very quiet, doesn't put out very much heat compared to its predecessor, and easy access for maintenance off this pump. And solenoid valve for switching if you're working in uh, H2S only mode or H2S SO2 mode, H2S SO2 or CS mode, combined sulfur. And coming around the back, again, we've got again the modular panel for the fans and Zero in, span, exhaust, and sample. Again, this analyzer was purchased without any of the board options for RS-232, analog output, and uh, digital input control. So that's all been eliminated to reduce cost. Again, working with the Modbus Ethernet port, and you have two extra, two extra uh, USB ports in the back here as well. Same power cord, and there is still a fuse holder underneath here as well. Back around this side, again you can see the three board connectors where the, if you had the options for the uh, RS-232 analog output and the digital input, uh, these boards would be populated here. The, uh, the motherboard has been redesigned, you can see the uh, centralized CPU electronics and the power supply is a bit different from the, uh, the i-series 450i analyzer as well. So a lot of changes on this instrument. Wants to look at. If you're familiar with the Knox analyzer, this looks a lot like uh, the layout of the 42i Molly converter. Uh, this is actually the H2S converter in the 450i H2S analyzer. And like all IQ series, you can still pull this off for easy access to the display for servicing. Again, if you have any questions, just post your comments and I will respond. Thank you.